Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Gears 12 here, and today I'm bringing you a new album review. Today I'm reviewing Voivod's 13th studio album release entitled Target Earth. Some little quick notes before I actually jump off into this review. This is the first official Voivod release that has no writing credits from Dennis D'Amour. I believe that's how you say his not, uh, name right. If you're a fan of Voivod, you know him as Piggy. That was his uh, nickname, I'm. that's what it says. Um, but yes, so his death was in 2005. And the reason why I'm saying it's the first official because they've had releases since 2005. He did appear on Cat K Tours, I believe that's how you uh, say, say it. I'm sorry if I'm screwing any of these things up. But uh, anyways, he he um, they recorded all the tracks of the album called K Tours, I believe that's how you say it, before his death. And then he got some writing credits on the next album in 2009 entitled Infinity, I think Infinity or something like that. It's one of it's like one of those things. Um, but anyways, yes, so this is the first official release of Voivod without Piggy, with any co contributions from him. So this is the first Voivod record without anything from him. And of course, if you're a Voivod fan, you know uh, that he was on uh, every single album because he was there at the very beginning of the, ba uh, the band's creation. So anyways, let's jump off into this review. So um, the thing about Voivod that's so different from a lot of... Uh, progressive or as you would say thrash metal bands is that their sound is a unique sound because they've always had this like this motion of where they weren't gonna like make their guitars sound really heavy in the studio or they were like they really don't go down the path that a lot of thrash metal bands do where they have the consistency of writing really fast riffs and just like really blazingly fast solos all the time. Basically, Voivod is that type of band that likes to stray away from the norm of what thrash metal or progressive metal could be. And basically, they just come up with their little ideas and they, they change it up a little bit. Um, if you've been a, a long time fan of Voivod, don't get scared away. This album reminds me a lot of past releases from the band. But as we all know, it doesn't have anything with Piggy on it or anything like that. So you understand that. But at the same time, the sound of the band sounds pretty amazing for what it is. Because, like, the guy that they got him to replace Piggy, named uh, Daniel Mongrain, I think that's how I say his name, he, um, his guitar tone sounds really, really unique, and it's just really, really good to see that the band sounds intact and they're still able to come up with these really great, great uh, songs. Um, the one thing I do want to say is that this album isn't like the the masterpiece of Voivod because what it is is like some of it feels just kind of off place in some places and some of it sounds really really good for what Voivod is but the problem is is that it feels like to me that it, it, there wasn't like it, it wasn't like clicking like it was back in the day and I understand that and a lot of fans might think that Voivod should have quit after Piggy died but they want to still continue to make music. So I understand why they did this, but you can just hear in the band that they still have some chemistry. But it's not like, don't expect this album to be the return of Voivod. They haven't really left. It's just been hard for them, I, I, I'm assuming, I, I'm pretty much guessing that since Piggy's death, that it's hard for them to continue on without him. But Target Earth is a great album for what it is it's not the i wouldn't consider it to be the album that will win fans over who think voivod should quit but i do think that fans of voivod that enjoy the music and enjoy what they can still do and enjoy the fact that they're continuing on and you know since piggy's death and just continuing to make music what they love and basically honoring him i'm guessing in every way that they can possibly can then i think you would enjoy target earth it's got some great great moments of great guitar bits a lot of great melodies. It's got just a lot of great stuff that's going on. The vocalist sounds um, amazing. Snake, he sounds really, really good. If you know his type of vocal style, it's kind of different than other vocal styles and other bands. But that unique vocal style he likes to throw in over the music is still there. It sounds, it sounds kind of creepy in a way, in a good kind of way. It's just different. It's, di it's kind of different to hear his type of vocals when you're listening to a lot of other thrash bands and going on to Voivod. It's a complete different change. And... Uh, I think that's what really makes Voivod stand out. Um, they got this guy named Blackie, and his last uh, album that he was on was Angel Rat in 1991, and his name is Jean Ves... I have no idea how to say the last name. But um, if you know who he is, Blackie, he's back. This is his first record since Angel Rat, like I just said. 
And um, what I really enjoy is that the mix they throw in on this album is the drums, the bass, the guitar, and the vocals all seem fit. Like the bass sounds pretty loud, but not loud enough to where it's masking over anything else in the mix. But I love how all the band members at some certain point get their own highlights and all that good stuff because a lot of bands these days, they don't do that. They don't highlight the other band members. They only highlight the guitar solos and the bass player doesn't get no highlights. The drums and no highlights except if you count double bass, which in my opinion, double bassing all the time, that's not a highlight. Um, but I love how each band member gets their own unique highlight throughout the album in some sort of way. I like that a lot. But um, overall, the sound of this album is what you'd expect from a Voivod album. It's not uh, overly technicalized. Like I said before, earlier in the review, the tones of the drums, the bass, the guitars, and the vocal tracking of how they tracked his vocals and recorded it sounds like a Voivod album. Voivod, sorry. <laughs> sounds like a Voivod album. But it's just, you just got to understand that I personally don't believe this is the album to introduce fans to Voivod. But um, I, I do think it's a good album for what it is. But I wouldn't recommend this to be the album that you check out first if you are if you don't know who Voivod is. I don't recommend that at least. I recommend you to listen to some of their earlier work and move on into what they're doing now and then whatever you decide. But I don't recommend this be the first album that they check out from Voivod. Because a lot of people that I'm friends with or people that I know who listens to metal, they don't know who Voivod is. And it's kind of weird because a lot of people know who this band is, but some people just don't know who the band is. But like I said um, earlier is that you got to understand that Voivod is still wanting to continue to make music. And I think this is a good way to showcase what they're able to come up with after Piggy's death and without no uh, contributions from him or writing credits because this is just the first album with just the three original guys and the new guy who comes in, you know, comes in and plays and all this good stuff. So it's a different, it's a different feel, but it's a Voivod album. It's kind of hard to explain, but... You know, this album just really gave me hope that this band can still continue without Piggy's contributions. Because Piggy was an amazing guitarist, don't get me wrong. But I think that they can continue to do well with new releases with this new guy on guitar. Because, like I said, the sound sounds like Voivod. It's just a little different. But, um, yeah, I think this album will please a lot of Voivod fans. And I think it's just an album that will really, you know, push people to think maybe this is, that, that maybe this is okay. Because I did say earlier that a lot of people who think the band should quit because of Piggy's death, then, you know, I don't I don't personally think that they're going to, like, take Voivod back into their music catalog and, like, oh, I love this band again. But maybe. May maybe some will. But I think this is a pretty uh, pretty good album for what it is. But overall, if, um, if I had to rate this album, I would give it a good 8 out of 10. It's a really good effort for the band. It's really good. I think they what they were going for... It got accomplished in a way, but some of the music is just a little a little too far out there for my taste. But like I said, Voivod is that type of band that likes to go outside the box and do some different types of stuff. And if you're not really, if you listen to one of the tracks of, of this new album, if you don't know what the band is, and you hear that vocals for the first time, it's kind of weird, I know. But that's what it is. That's what Voivod is. So if, if you don't like the vocals, then you're not going to like the band because that's the way... The vocals are done, and that's the way the band likes to do it. Like, they think outside the box, the vocals are different. They just like to do stuff different. So, overall, like I said, 8 out of 10. It's a pretty good album. It's just not the album that I expected them to do after Piggy's death. Like, it's still Voivod, but it's not, like, top-notch work. But it's still pretty good stuff, and I think a lot of fans will enjoy it. So, anyways, guys, that is my review. Like I said, um, again, go check out this album if you like the band. And if you don't like the band, then uh, don't check out the album. <laughs> and if you haven't heard of the band, check out some of their earlier work first before you jump off into Target Earth. Because, like I said, it just I just wouldn't recommend this album to be the first album that you hear from the band. So, anyways, guys, that's my review. If you like the review, like the video. And if you like me and want to see more, subscribe for more metal videos. And I'll see you guys soon.